a more general question. How do... Now that Season 1 is about to... Heading to its end, do you think Heroes will get any big thing like Dota or LoL in the next years? Or will it stay as it is? Uh, I think Heroes has been getting really big changes, like every three to six months. Like big every three. Reworks about how the game works, how XP works, how mount speed works is about to happen in a week. And we're so close to BlizzCon. I think it's very worth it to see it through to BlizzCon, see what's going to come. Uh, I think there will be new players coming as well. There was a huge resurgence of players to Heroes of the Storm last BlizzCon about 10 months ago. And then in February as well. And in June too. I forgot what happened in June. I think it's the whole summit thing. But there have been uh, big surges into the into the game. Is after Vala's rework still a build for her Q? And is it good? I don't know. Don't have enough data. Haven't played PTR much. And she's different from when I played her at Gamescom three to four weeks ago. Kirby, why isn't Mediv getting buffed? Seeing as he's so damn weak at the moment. He's weak at some levels by mediocre players. He has amazing broken OP in the hands of a good player. In the right situation. He doesn't need buffs. He needs practice. Oh, oh. Rainer. Nice. Victory for the Forsaken. <laughs> Ban Medi. Nice. What do you think about Malf? Does he need a rework? Every healer is burst, but Malf is not. I say keep Malf not being a burst healer, but make him better at passing the heals around. That peace, peace heals to everyone needs to be passed around. It's Lily again. Ready for adventure. Shadow Paul Lily gets another chance today. False start is nice. Let's fly. Um, Lily is pretty good here for Tracer and for Thrall. Rainer really counters her, but if you don't trust, it's okay. <laughs> Rainer, man, I could have gone Rainer. Why not Brightwing versus Tracer? Just don't want to play her. Brightwing is not on free to play, and she's not two thousand gold. That's my rules for today, and I've really been enjoying it. Yita, guide my path. Free to play but uses premium skins. Well, there's this is this, the offsetting of it, the balancing out of it. Wow, full GM. Oh no, never mind. Full GM team, not not teams. Team. Uh, last night on NA4 Regionals, Kerrigan was played with Q build on Sky Temple and Tyrus. Any idea why? He must have been very confident. That his allies would follow up with plenty of damage to Greenberger. And instead he chooses to lane clear better. But Q is better at lane clear. And also self-sustain him a little bit better in fights. Self-sustain himself. 
Yep. I missed the whole dialogue. I only heard Lily say, yep. No, of course this is not the real Dong Regu. Come on. He wouldn't play on Europe. Uh, I'm gonna go timeless creature. Exciting support fight. The steel attempts. We got ten coins. Any tips for how to kill Sergeant Hammer with Kerrigan? Pretty much can't combo his speed and pushback. It's a her, by the way. Yes, correct. Kerrigan cannot really combo Hammer. I would suggest you jump in near Hammer with the Q, get the reset. on the Q and then jump somewhere else just to make her miss her W. That's the only way I can think of to reliably get her on your first try. How do they still see me? Okay, I'll just tap then. Uh, I'm gonna go mending, or should I go lingering? Lingering good against tracer? No, I need mending. I love it. So you goofed off now, dude, or did she? Got him, Shadow Paul in his strikes. I could have saved him if I. Uh, if I did something else. If you're a poor player, you have to use the casual man. I'm simulating being a poor player while having almost all the skins in the game. Uh, I'll go Lightning Serpent. Or do I need Cleanse? No, I got Lightning Serpent. Good for wave clear. What's that over there? Nice. Very good. Uh, no, I can say what I want. I am having so much fun today. Sounds fun. 
I'm top soaker in the game. I can do it. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he did. He's super alive. I'm gonna pull back. Yes, exactly. Lightning Serpent is a wave clear talent. I'm February, but it's atrocious at wave clearing. It's just the only thing she got, really. Oh, he dead. Oh, he's alive. A good joke. Good Stuff is actually one of the higher win rates, together with Lightning Serpent. Lightning Serpent is number one, Good Stuff is number two. Three is Pitch Perfect and four is Cleanse. This is at Master's level. You definitely want to go for the Timeless Creature and Mending when you are the solo support for Illidan. This is the best way to provide Burst Heal on him. And it gives her a little bit of extra uh, pain train. You asked if I'm enjoying myself, not whether uh, the micro potential for the game is as uh, high as for Warcraft 3. Uh, I can say what I want, and although I'm, I didn't follow the conversation, just keep in mind that because Warcraft 3 is such a popular game, and people love to see me play Warcraft, you are one of many people who comes into the hero streams to request Warcraft 3, and it's very understandable, and I, I, I do try to treat everyone special, uh, and to answer even a million times if it's the same question. But if you accidentally annoyed someone else who answers for me, please understand that they probably don't mean it badly. They may just be a little bit tired of the same questions. I just killed myself. My bad. Oh my god. And now all of that killed us. My distraction of that. I should have just let it pass. Uh, curious, and what question would you ever not take? Uh... Um, uh, in what situation would you ever not take jugs? I've never seen a gameplay with Lily without jugs being picked. Uh, Water Dragon is very strong. If you're second support, I recommend Water Dragon every time. Uh... I'm gonna go for hindering winds. Well played, team. That's a pretty good marshal on the minion way. <laughs> Should you ever use E on wave clear, someone asked. It depends how desperate you are and whether you're planning to go back soon. If you're planning to back soon because you need mana anyway, you might as well. If you're solo defending against the big push, you might as well. If you have Gale Force and Mass Vortex, you can often do it. If you have the build I have, you should very rarely do it. Especially since I, one, don't have Conjurer's Pursuit, two, no Gale Force, three, no Mass Vortex. So I don't really want to waste my mana on that. That was a very scary position for me. 
I think we can kill them so hard. But of course we have no whaling yet. They can pay. So wait. Hello. How about we capture this mercenary camp? They're gonna pay? Wait, they miss one coin now. Cool. <laughs> nice, they miss one coin. Because of the Johanna death. So, it is now possible to stop them from paying. Now that's a healer I can get behind. <laughs> serpent sidekick. When you have this many serpents, fun. definitely. Sounds fun. Oh, yes. <laughs> nice mush bit. So what is my wave clear really like? Lightning Serpent helps a lot, you see? It does help a lot. Oh, wow, actually it helps quite a bit. I'm surprised. It doesn't matter who's right, guys. I want no more arguments. I don't like long arguments between people in my chat. So I kindly request both sides of the argument to watch and stop it now. Doesn't matter who's right. No more. And I kindly instruct the moderators to warn to the same effect. And if it persists, no choice but to do a timeout. Not to punish, but just to stop it. Sorry that it had to come to this. And now for the rest, enjoy. I'm gonna put a dragon on Illidan. We have a really nice position here. We've got almost all heroics. Oh, that's a good must. Uh, must? Gust. Because it kind of allows us to regroup. Well done. Because uh, Jugs of a Thousand Cups is a uh, ability that is a sustain heal, you never want to leave it until the, the very end when you finally really need it. So sick. Second best mush of the game. Oh. <laughs> Sounds fun. No. Yeah, shut up all win. Cool. Please show tracer build. Sure. No problem. And also, Grubby, what do you think of about Alarak kit? Uh, very interesting kit. Like it. Hello, I just started uh, not too long ago on HOTS and I really enjoy using Witch Doctor. I was wondering your thoughts on him. So, Nazebo. Nazebo is actually the hero in most need of a rework. I recently answered the question, who is in need of a rework? And I said, nobody. He's, he's the one. So while Witch Doctor is pretty cool and he can put out lots of damage, and there's people that really farm Nazebo wins. And he has the best voice lines in the game. Brrrah! 
Uh, I really like Nazebo. But I do think that he has a lot of old legacy talents that require some uh, updates. Uh, just wanted to do a quick recap about Lily. I went for the lightning build. Firstly, Mending Serpent is a must because I want to be able to heal Illidan even if he goes deep. This is the only thing that follows him if I cannot. I'm not an Uther who can from very long distance do a Divine Shield. So, Mending Serpent. What else? This is my number one choice in the game. What else? Okay, Timeless. Now I have a 10 second cooldown. I can make it last for 15 seconds, which means occasionally I can have overlap on another hero. For example, ETC. He's the second frontliner and he might need it. After I have those two choices, what is the next best thing at 7? There are really legit options. So I see, do I need cleanse? There's no map objective that stuns on this map. I would say on Battlefield of Eternity, you can always get away with taking cleanse, even if the opponent has zero stuns. But there was no such thing as Black Art Bay. So we go for no cleanse. Then do I want one of the Q talents? Well, I could. But I decided that it's okay to go for extra damage for wave clear, which is very important on Blackheart Bay. And also uh, to give more spike to Illidan when he jumps in. This was probably the most doubtful pick of the game. I could have got away with the good stuff or the mana reduction pitch perfect, and it may have even been better. But I kind of let my incentive to be part of the damage series lead me a little bit, while also understanding that when I have a lot of Q build, it also uh, benefits more on the uh, on the damage. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I made a good sentence there, but I do think it's a good one. Okay, at 13, very debatable again. I could go shrink ray, probably be great on uh, either thrall or tracer, but I feel like I'm already kind of shutting them down with the blind, so I would have to do a blind and then at the end of the blind do a shrink ray. Tracer can kind of recall. And then remove all negative effects. So I wasn't sure if I was going to get full via of Shrink Ray. Plus, I'm not a huge fan of 60 second cooldown single button press talents. They're not as fun. And they're not as impactful in the general chaos of an uncoordinated Hero League or Quick Match game. So I went for Hindering Winds. Which, by the way, has a really good win rate. I'm, surprised, I'm as surprised as you are. But apparently having a small slow on a relatively short cooldown for a relatively average time is decent. I'm surprised. And then finally, we have that many Serpent builds, Serpent Psychic. What about the alt? Well, Jug of 1000 Cups. And the solo support, it makes sense. Yes, uh, actually the zombie wall has already been changed on the PTR Alcazar. Nazebo is going to get better CC. His zombie wall is going to be like a real wall. Uh, I only take Surging Winds at 13 if I have the Mass Vortex at 4. Otherwise, max ability power buff is 10%, with Surge Surging Winds plus the uh, 4 Winds is 20% ability power. Can you explain Lily's level 13 Surging? It can stack 4 times on an 8 second cooldown, but you can only hit E every 10 seconds, so how could it possibly stack? Yes, that's because of the Mass Vortex at four uh, minion, because you can have four wins. Secondly, Kung Fu Hustle reduces your cooldowns by two and a half times. So you can have many, many E's in a short time. Jen. That was uh, preventable. Run 